now at this point i cannot imagine uh, like i have prepared without aggregating uh, by scoring the same way so, so i cannot imagine my preparation without aggregating right now so i would suggest all my juniors like if you are very serious with the preparation just go for it uh, there is um, there is literally zero loss that you will get by joining aggregate and the 100% um, benefits to joining aggregate Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel AgriAddict. So today we have one of the topper of ICAR PG Plant Sciences exam 2024, that is Varshita, who has secured an All India rank of 5 in this exam. Today she is with us to share her preparation strategy and the journey of becoming the topper of this exam. So if you guys want to know the secret behind this top rank, stick with us until the end of this video so that you can also aim to become the topper in the next exam. So before starting, Varshita, please introduce yourself. Hello, ma'am. Hello, viewers. This is Varshita. Uh, I completed my UG from Kerati Shivapanayaka University of Agriculture and Horticulture Sciences, Shumaka, with an overall OGPA of 8.78. Uh, and I have secured All India rank of 5th file in ICR PG Plant Sciences exam. And currently, I have been allot allotted to uh, U University of Agriculture Sciences, Bangalore, for the PB department. Yeah, under GPP, you have been allotted. Okay, so let us start. So, and we are all very curious to know how you managed to secure this top rank in this exam, that too in this difficult subject. So, we will be awaiting for your suggestions and everything. Students, and at the end of this video, she has few of the suggestions for all her juniors, which will definitely help you guys to become the topper in the next exam. Uh, Varshita, before starting, I have a few questions to you. Like, despite knowing that this is a difficult subject, we know that uh, plant science has many subgroups, like pathology, seed science and everything. We have to read so many books and we have to cover so many things. So despite of knowing this, how did you take up this subject? What was that one thing which has triggered you, triggered your interest in this subject? Uh, first and foremost thing is, ma'am, uh, I find this subject, uh, in particular genetics, very fascinating. I like the subject basically uh, and again uh, after that if, when I started preparing for MSc uh, for the JRF exam uh, even I had confusions between so many subjects like whether to take plant sciences or not since uh, as you said it has a wide syllabus we need to read a lot uh, but after knowing the its scope uh, in every field like in research in or uh, teaching and in, in even in the private sector also uh, I finally decided that I should go with uh, for plant sciences, uh, specifically uh, genetic, gen genetics and plant breeding. So this okay. is uh, my thing to choose the subject. Uh -huh. That's nice. Like, uh, when did you decide that you want to do higher studies in this subject? When did you decide? Uh, like, maybe in third year, second sem. Okay, in third year, second sem, you have decided. So by third year, second sem, you might have uh, come across all the courses which had been offered in your UG, right? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. How was your UG days? Uh, how was your interest in the subject in UG days? Uh, sir, uh, ma'am, is it a coincidence or not? I don't know. But during mm -hmm. my UG classes, the first class that I attended is uh, genetics class, uh, which one of okay. my professors wrote. His name is Malik. And uh, and at the first uh, day itself, I find it very interesting, the subject. I, I like molecular biology from my schooling also. So, um, so throughout my UG classes, I am very interested in genetics. Even if I study uh, genetics for a stretch of so many hours also, I don't feel uh, bored. So that is one thing which attracts uh, for like taking up the subject. Okay. So your interest root back to your UG days. That's nice. So for many many of us, it is like one of our uh, teacher in the UG who has inspired us to take up the subject. This is the most of the cases. That's great. Okay. Like you have started your preparation in the third year. Um, like I uh, decided that I should start the preparation by third year second sem, but it mm -hmm. took almost uh, three to four months to know like what are the books, what is the syllabus and everything. Even though if we decide uh, very much early, it will take so much time to get uh, an exposure to what all the things we need to study. 
I mean, to know the syllabus, it will uh, syllabus it will uh, itself it will take too much time. Uh, to say properly, I started from fourth year, like proper preparation okay. for there. Okay, so during your third year, you have decided, and fourth year, you have actually started the preparation. So, how did you come to know, like, uh, with from the seniors or any platform, you have a uh, search to know how what to read and how to cover the subject? Like through like so many concepts, I I got the contact of Abhishek sir. Uh, then okay. Abhishek sir, uh, even explained me about everything, like. What can we do after MSc and everything? Uh, even he suggested uh, the Agriadic. So I came across the platform and I do watch my, so many YouTube uh, videos which is posted. Uh, then I decided that I should go for it because uh, like I needed uh, some uh, like live, live lectures and everything for to get uh, the concepts clearly. So I went for Agriadic. Okay. That's how you have connected with us. Yes. That's nice. Very okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll start with the preparation strategy. So coming to the books, uh, you can share us your uh, preparation, how you have covered the subjects and which are the books you have referred. What are the difficulties you have faced in covering the subjects with us? You can start from genetics. And specifically, yeah. we want to know what made you to get this fifth rank. What is that key difference which has made you to get this uh, fifth rank? Ma'am, uh, I started with genetics, uh, like yeah. every other person will do. Uh, like even I went for BDC. Uh, hmm. Like when I started, or I do started reading BDC before starting of the life classes also. But when I start, okay. when I started reading, uh, I read one or two chapters. Uh, after that, I felt very frustrated to read that. Like, it was so, so much to understand by my myself. So, when life yeah. classes started, I used to attend the life classes uh, and um, read the book. That made me, like, that made so much difference. Like, it cut short my uh, reading hours to almost 50%. Uh, so, uh, the fo one fortunate thing is I we had a uh, uh, choice to, like, download the crisp notes and take a print out of it. Uh, which is not yeah. available. Uh, I used to uh, take the print out of it, and I I am the person who uh, usually don't make notes. Uh, to be very honest, uh, so I okay. just took the print out of the notes, and while reading the book, whichever uh, I feel felt difficult, uh, like um, the things that I might forget in the future, I just made a note of all those things in the crisp notes itself. So, uh, in a kind of sense, I made my own notes and I, I also covered the crisp notes. So, that is something I did. Okay. And, so, you have uh, come. Uh, yeah, yes. continue. And uh, I I read a um, whole of Mendelian genetics in uh, genetics by BDC. But when I started molecular genetics in BDC, I felt it, I felt it so heavy. So, I went for genetic medicine. Uh, uh, so genetic medicine also feels uh, a little less for the JRF. Uh, the yeah. one, the one more uh, additional benefit that we got is uh, the crisp notes. So the crisp note is like just perfect, not too less, not too more. So I just went with genetics medicine and crisp notes. Okay, you that's how you have covered the genetic subject. Ma'am, uh, gene objective genetics by B uh, BD Singh and BK Prasad, uh, even I solved so many questions in that book, but I think the questions are a little outdated. Uh, the questions are more of like remembering things, but uh, when okay. we look into the question paper, the questions are more into like assertion and reasoning. Assertion and reasons. Uh, yeah, like that of questions. So mm -hmm. some, if somebody wants to go for it, uh, they can, but I prefer to... We go for any standard mock test series than this book. Okay. How you felt about Agriadic mock test? You are telling that uh, BK Prasad and BD Singh is outdated. Yeah. Very on to the point. Very, very, like, very standard. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I honestly took so many mock test series. Uh, like hmm. two to three. Uh, hmm. Then after attending all of those uh, test series, uh, like gradually, uh, I left... Uh, all of them, I only attended uh, a graded mock series. 
Okay, you only stick with aggregate mock tests among others. Okay, that's nice to hear. Next, uh, we will see about plant breeding. How did you cover it? Many feel that plant breeding is a difficult one. How did you deal with it? Um, I personally suggest essentials of plant breeding. Uh, like people who have so much of time can go for uh, breeding also. But uh, I felt breeding is too heavy. I can't digest it personally. So I went with essentials of plant breeding. Like some of the concepts we can read. Uh, like some of the con like if we look into the syllabus, some of the concepts are not there in uh, essentials of plant breeding by Pundan Singh. So uh, for those concepts, we can read, go for breeding. Mm, okay. So I, I personally didn't uh, refer it. Uh, I went for um, Pundan Singh book and along with Crisp Notes. So that, okay, you have never uh, read this B D C. Like one or two chapters, ma'am, not more than that. Uh, do you remember which chapters you have referred from B D C? History, history. Okay, and, uh, history. Um, male male and seventh incompatibility, or only like two or three chapters. Okay. I, the key is like, uh, it is not mat. It doesn't matter that how much we cover the syllabus. Uh, it matters yeah. is are we on to the uh, exam point and. Yeah, how will we understand the concepts that decides? Yeah. Even many of the toppers say that they only referred Pundan Singh, they never touched BD Singh. Yeah. Still, they'll secure a good rank. That depends on how well you understand the topic. That's yeah. nice. And uh, about objectives? Objective, I didn't uh, refer to uh, any objective book. I just went for a mock test series, by, like, which is given in aggregated master class. Okay, what about the classes? Classes have you are, attended like, the classes yes ma'am i uh, like i got so many distractions in between uh, so okay. i didn't attend so much of live classes but i do uh, cover all the recorded classes so like okay. the, the the taking plant science is that you should understand the concept first so for that uh, attending the classes is very important if we understand the concept yeah. uh, it is not uh, needed to uh, revise multiple times also so uh, live classes has helped me very much for that matter especially genetics and plant breeding classes yeah that's nice to hear okay that's how you have covered uh, breeding have you felt that any topic or any chapter is way too difficult to understand in this uh, yeah ma'am in uh, population improvement methods i felt it were little difficult but after I attending live class and everything, it was easy. Okay. That's fine. Okay, let's move forward. So, tell us about plant pathology. I see that many of the people who like genetics and breeding dislike this plant pathology. Do you feel the same? Yes. Oh, it, it is the same for you also. Yes. Um, uh, it is not that the subject is difficult. It is only the only thing is we don't like the subject. That's all. <laughs> so, uh, like during my preparation, I knew that uh, that plant plant pathology will be the headache, and uh, I, I I need to give uh, so much of time to it. So, yeah. Uh, while covering plant breeding itself, I took plant pathology also. Uh, like uh, I had an anxiety that whether I will, will I cover it or not. So I took uh, the plant breeding and pathology simultaneously because I had okay. almost a zero basic knowledge before starting the JRF preparation. Like um, in my UG classes also didn't well uh, for pathology, the pathology classes. So hmm. I knew that I need a lot of time for preparation for pathology subjects. So I started from very basic and I kept the syllabus also very crisp. I, crisp. I didn't went for any, like going deep into the subject and everything. I made the syllabus very crisp and I read it multiple times. So okay. that's how I coped up with it. Uh, you made your own note for this? No, ma'am. You didn't I, make notes? Uh, no, I I read uh, um, fungi, bacteria and viruses by H.C. Dubé for the, the basics hmm. and, uh, and the classification. Uh, and uh, uh, for principles of disease management, uh, even modern plant pathology book is nice. But uh, I wanted hmm. the syllabus to be very short, so I just went for angry notes. Uh, so okay. after that, uh, the, even diseases of uh, agriculture and horticulture uh, crops also, I just write uh, angry notes. I do con 
instead concentrate uh, concentrate on only the very uh, important disease as i think when for every disease okay so you only focused on the major diseases okay. what about this modern plant pathology you did not read it or uh, you have read anything in this no i didn't record it but i have seen so many of my friends reading it it's a yeah. good book actually it's not very uh, heavy to digest nothing like that mm -hmm. it's a very good book. okay apart from that you have referred angro notes ha ma yeah that's nice so next coming to seed science and technology how did you cover this uh, seed science and technology as uh, you know the principles of seed technology by pitya agarwal that book um, uh, it's very good book we can cover it uh, in very short time uh, and uh, with that i attended hariprasad sir's classes and he covered almost everything and i do went for his crisp notes also uh, so that okay. is all in the, uh, the pk agarwal book and crisp notes okay fine so tell me one thing how many times you have covered uh, like uh, you have revised the things um, uh, like genetics i had a little knowledge um, even before starting also so hmm. i do read the books or uh, standard books two times but and i did revision for about two times but pathology took lot of time uh, okay uh, so I pathology took a lot of time for you Uh, and it is needed to know uh, deep time because i was uh, feeling a little difficult so that's so whatever the time we save in genetics and breeding we will invest in pathology that is the case <laughs> yeah and were you a morning person or a late night person what is the preferred time for you okay I you used to read night owl <laughs> you is you Uh, you I used to like, read at night uh, okay yeah, like 2 2 pm 3 pm at night and used to get up at 8 9 like that. okay that was your schedule then uh, when did you attend the mock test what uh, did you keep a specific time for it or it is like regularly you used to do it at a random times ma'am uh, as soon as completing every chapter there was uh, topic wise mock test i used to take that Uh, hmm. Even after revising every chapter, also I used to re-attend all those tests. Uh, okay. Uh, then full and mock mock test I started like twenty days uh, before exam. Okay. Uh, so you have uh, attended all the complete mock tests. I even left few. Like now. Okay, few uh, you have left. Seventy percent I attended. Hmm. So, like less less than thirty percent I didn't. Okay, that's nice. Okay, well, uh, how about microbiology? What did you read in this? Microbiology, I didn't went for any standard books. Uh, I okay. just went for my uh, UG class uh, notes, which I were I read during my exams. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, even one of my seniors gave uh, his notes, which uh, which he made during his preparation. So fortunately, I read that. Uh, mm -hmm. So that helped me a lot. And even uh, the Chris notes which is provided in a master class also even that was very good. Even I referred that also. Okay, that's nice. Ah, uh, coming to biochemistry. Biochemistry also I just kept it very crisp. Ah, uh, crisp, and I even went for uh, the our UG class notes which I read uh, read during my exams. Mm -hmm. And I gave the class notes. Okay, one common thing I can see in all the subjects that you kept it at a minimum, whatever possible you have kept it at a minimum. You did not overburden yourself. Yeah, keeping it simple was your key. So next, uh, coming to plant physiology. For plant physiology, also uh, like this is some some of the books for reference, but uh, I didn't um, personally went for any standard books. Uh, I just okay. went for uh, uh, the notes which is provided in master class and my UG okay. notes, which ever I read during my exams. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you if we take up our UG notes, um, uh, in the very crucial time of preparation, it will help us a lot because we have read yeah. that notes already during our exams, so it will be like. or uh, just a revision so in very critical situation we can go for that like if we if we, if someone is a long term reader like if someone is reading from 2 years to years 
then of course they need to go for um, uh, some standard books okay even we did the same thing referring to ug notices during our exams <laughs> so coming to general agriculture how did you cover this from general agriculture i went for named chanda um named chanda like two months before exam uh, like there was a mock test series going on in the telegram group so i covered along with it uh, like covering 10 uh, pages every day and attending mock tests mm -hmm. uh, that's how we covered but um sometimes the, the thing is if we read the general agriculture book at the very end of our preparation uh, we can finish it of course uh, it's a very small book we can finish it but uh, there is so many things to remember in that so uh, i would say uh, just uh, whenever you feel bored uh, by reading other main subjects we just can go for general agriculture if we complete once before a uh, mock test then we'll get the time to revise that I would suggest yeah, just even starting general agriculture way before um, in, the in the in the starting of the preparation is um, very much necessary. Okay, you would say that uh, one should start at the beginning of your preparation covering this uh, general agriculture. Yes. It may be for one hour, two hour. We have to take it with a flow. Yes, ma'am. Like reading 10 pages will take uh, hardly one hour. So we can cover yeah. easily. Okay. Like uh, we know that uh, during our fourth year, we don't find much of the time. We will be busy with Rave and some other programs. So how did you make time to study? Um, ma I do. I, even I was very inconsistent in reading. Uh, in between uh, class, like when the live classes were going, uh, we had an all India trip. Uh, we went to industrial training, KVK placement, and everything. Uh, but uh, the key is that itself. If uh, somebody is not consistent that the difference between uh, scoring um, good rank and low rank is that if somebody is consistent then de uh, definitely they will score a uh, good rank if um, so like during my rave time um, my teacher my co rave coordinator was not that strict so we got a lot of time uh, during our rave so um, i covered most of the syllabus there and even in during uh, even even in our ELP program also we got a lot of time for that matter. The schedule okay. was not that hectic. I can see many of the toppers have uh, suggested that this being consistent matters a lot. So many will start at last or many will start at the beginning and leave at mid. Uh, so what matters is your consistency. Yes. So another key for your success. I'm collecting the keys. <laughs> okay, how many hours you used to study in a day on an average? At, at the starting of the preparation, like two hours maximum, not more than that. Like during Jan, uh, January and February, it went like three to four, five hours. Uh, mm -hmm. But in April, May, June, uh, I don't know, like went like 10, 12 hours. Okay, you went up to 10-12 hours. Oh. That's way more. Okay, uh, you used to go for library or you prefer room for reading? There was a study hall in our uh, hostel. So I preferred study hall uh, over library and reading in rooms. Okay, so what about doubts? When you get doubts, uh, uh, what are the ways you use to clear them? The only way that I got clearing out doubts is uh, the Agrianic WhatsApp groups. Okay, you used to post in the WhatsApp group. Yes, that's something. Okay. That's something which made my preparation uh, like a ten on ten, I would say. Uh, okay. Like, you participate in the discussion will give you, uh, like it sort of give you the revision and it uh, sort of give you. Uh, the topics which are important to read, which is not important to read and everything. So if somebody is taking agriatic classes, I would definitely suggest that uh, uh, please actively participate in the group discussions uh, in the WhatsApp group, uh, preferably in one or two months before exam. That is very crucial time. Okay. 
even uh, we can see that many of the students who are actively participating in the live classes and the group discussions are the toppers today that is one thing we can observe yes. yeah that's great uh, let's move forward okay you have mentioned uh, some other important books can you tell us about these books Yes, now instant plan change or if like at the end, ending of the preparation, if you have any extra time uh, for revision, you can go for instant plan change. And uh, agriculture current affairs also like uh, covering current affairs is also important. We will get one, hardly one, one definitely one or two sometimes. Um, so for uh, agriculture current affairs, uh, my one more suggestion is like we will get the current affairs, uh, the latest version at the end of March or April. So that will be the crucial time of our preparation. So instead of that, what I did is, uh, there was a magazine ma'am called Times of Agriculture, which is released every by the end of every month. It will cover um, like the important current affairs which took place in that particular month. Uh, so I used to download that magazine. Uh, it will contain ha hardly a four to five pages of the current affairs so as to make a note of it so uh, spending a uh, half an hour uh, per month you like as i saved a lot of time at the end of my preparation so what i did at the ending of my preparation is i just revised all the points that i did uh, uh, while reading that magazine so that can someone follow uh, if they want to cover syllabus and everything way more earlier Okay. Uh, was it helpful? Did any questions arise in the exam? No, ma'am. Uh, any questions? No questions are arise, actually. Okay. Uh, like, reading, uh, like, we can't even predict also. Like, if we read yeah. the current affairs by um, this book also, we can't predict, like, we will get questions or not. So, if somebody is very serious with their preparation, they can go for it. Yeah. Rather than pressurizing ourselves at the end, we can do this thing. It is one good practice we can do. Like, uh, what about the group discussions? Have you been uh, actively involved in group discussion among your friends? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma I you used my... to do. Yes. Huh? That's something which is very helpful for everybody, I would say. Like, having yeah. a compatible partner during the reading session is something which keeps you... Uh, like not getting bored from your uh, like while reading and also clearing doubts and sometimes uh, the, the things we discuss uh, only that things only will get remembered during the exams so yeah a compatible partner is a very good uh, habit while reading like uh, you used to discuss all the subject related things or general agriculture and current affairs what what was the uh, I had a friend, uh, she was reading entomology, so we used to read general agriculture together. Okay, that's nice. Having a good friend is also a key. Yes. <laughs> Who will help you in your preparation. Okay. So, to summarize your preparation, I will just ask you a few questions. Like, what was the flow of the subjects uh, you have covered? I started with genetics, ma'am. I covered genetics. Then I started plant breeding. Uh, so after mm -hmm. covering the 20 to 30 percent of the plant breeding, I took plant pathology simultaneously along with that. Okay. Like if I'm reading four hours a day, I was keeping two hours for pathology, two hours for uh, breeding. Then after completing that uh, seed technology, then I went for other minor subjects like microbiology, biochemistry, and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, in the middle of the preparation, I uh, uh, simultaneously went for general, general agriculture also. Like reading okay. 10 pages a day like that. Okay. At last, uh, how many months you have kept for revision? Um, revision, uh, I would say one month. Yes, one okay. month. Okay. You have kept one month for revision. Yes. So in that time, you used to attend the mock test also along with the revision. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's great. Okay. And uh, you have given a few of the suggestions for your juniors. You can uh, tell them. 
yes ma'am the first one is uh, rather than going for multiple uh, sources like reading the same at the starting of the preparation we we are so enthusiastic so we will read the same topic in many books like we'll read the same topic in bd singh we will same read the same topic in kundan singh also even i did the same during my uh, during the starting of my preparation so sticking okay. to one source any source for that matter stick stick like the thing is how it's not doesn't matter how much we cover the syllabus the most important thing is how much we revise during the exam is very important so we going for multiple sources doesn't fetch anything at the end of the preparation so i would suggest go for any one standard source so again yeah. as i said before like participating in the discussion is uh, something uh, which makes your preparation insanely good uh and another thing is uh, like at the starting of my preparation even i did the mistakes uh that is going into the standard books without having any prior knowledge like i had uh, almost a zero knowledge on pathology so what i did is first i completed all my uh, uh ug course notes which is provided uh, in the college so that we'll get some at least some 1% 2% at least 10% of the basic knowledge after that uh, going to standard books is very preferred because if we uh, directly go into the standard books we will feel it so heavy so difficult and there is a chance yeah. that we will leave uh, that in the middle itself so having a basic knowledge is very important uh, then yeah. the, the the most important thing is i would say to all of the juniors preparing to the previous question paper uh, is very very important uh, yeah this is a must before starting the preparation itself before starting the preparation and throughout the preparation like the previous year question paper should be like a bible uh, i would say uh, what i should yeah. do is uh, like after completing every topic i used to go through the question paper like what are the questions that came in that particular topic uh, it will help okay. us a lot ma'am even though the questions will not get repeated of course but uh, we will get to know the examiner point of view that what the examiner yeah. expects us to read like reading blindly everything which is there in the standard book is also not uh, recommended i would say it will consume a lot of time uh, and also we will uh, we won't remember uh, much of the topics during our exams if we go deep very deep into the subject so of course we need to go into the subject very deeply but uh, in very um, few topics i would say that we will in a verge know. of going in deep we should not forget the exam point of view yes that is also a thing yeah then uh, uh, of course the attending mock test is very important like even if we know the subject also applying that particular concept in the question is important so attend yeah. as much as mock test possible but make sure uh, that that the attended mock test should be uh, like up to the standard I have yeah, attended that, so that matters. Uh, like <laughs> there, sometimes we'll get to questions or uh, like to uh, like we will feel like we won't be able to crack this exam after seeing that questions. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you are not going for a standard set of mock test, you will demotivate yourself by seeing uh, questions which are not up to the mark, but they are way more complex than the than this exam. So you have to yes. go for a right kind of mock test. that matters a lot yes. and how was the feel like uh, you used to attend the mock test regularly using a platform like uh, the similar kind of wave you will get to see when you are seated in the exam hall how was that feel did you feel uh, felt any difference in that or it was way more casual that you are attending some mock test <laughs> have like you felt that, that? Yes, ma'am. I I do have an ex exam fever uh, every time when I attend any exams. I am very okay. anxious person for that matter. Mm -hmm. But although uh, the difference is that um, we might uh, feel we will like while attending the mock test, we might feel that we will save lot of time. We will get lot of time to uh, read the questions, to analyze the question, analyze the question, and everything. but the reality is that when we attend the um, uh, exam uh, the questions are very lengthy uh, and to read the question the question and to analyze the question and to answer we will get only 1 minute and we should be way more quicker than uh, the usual mock test so yeah 
of course uh, being calm is another uh, <laughs> key <laughs> yeah another key for your success that's great like uh, how was the feel uh, after coming from the exam hall have you felt that uh, you have done very well and the paper was easy moderate what was the feel yes i felt uh, the paper was moderate to easy that level Uh, okay and, uh, i i like after coming from exam i do know that i'll get good marks but i definitely didn't know that i'll score uh, like i'll be the all india fifth rank that okay. was a little unexpected for that matter mm-hmm. uh, because i have seen the competition like i have seen people yeah. who are answering constantly in the whatsapp groups attending live sessions and everything um so life for to say a uh, life life classes are something which uh, kept me going because whenever i t- attended life classes i have seen people who answered constantly so it uh, so we'll get to know what is the competition how people are preparing for the exams and mm-hmm. everything so um, so some that is something we kept that uh, kept me going uh, throughout my preparation okay so how many questions you have attended Um, I attended uh, one hundred thirteen. Okay, one thirteen questions. Like, uh, how many time? Uh, like, how much time you have taken to attend it one time? One to one twenty questions to go it for one time. How much time you have taken? I took a lot of time, ma'am. Uh, actually. Okay. Um, uh, um, actually, I have left with only uh, half an hour, I guess. Uh, to um go through the questions which I left. Uh. Uh, for the course. second round uh-huh. like uh, have you seen all the questions two times or uh, you have gone for one round and then only the questions you have kept for uh, review you have seen them i thought of going um, before the exam but uh, mm-hmm. after uh, completing one round uh, i have left with uh, only little time so um I during the first round itself, I answered like perfect. If I know the uh, answer perfectly, then I used to take. Otherwise, I left unanswered. So that's why I went only for the unanswered questions. Uh, I but okay. but I do face the time management issue. Okay, what you would suggest to your juniors on this? Like uh, at the starting of the exam, we feel that we will get lot of time and everything. But uh, just be quick at the first hour of the exam. Be quick, but not confused at the same. Time. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Okay. Before concluding, I have uh two more questions for you. That is, uh, if I would ask you, what was the role of agri addict in your overall preparation? Uh, what is your answer for this? And now at this point, I cannot imagine. Uh, like I have prepared without agreeing, uh, by scoring the same way. So, so I cannot imagine my preparation without agreeing right now. So it has okay. definitely it has played a major role, ma'am. Like, uh, throughout my preparation, uh, like starting from life classes, crisp notes, crisp note is something very precious. I would say for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Uh, it has played a very major role, and I would suggest all my juniors like if you are very serious with the preparation, just go for it. Uh, there is, um, there is literally zero loss that you will get by at joining at the edit, and the hundred percent um benefits to joining at the edit. So we will also build an insane network. I would say, uh, like in like to from. It agreed. has uh, guided me from the preparation uh, throughout the counseling and till now also. So that's how it helped me. Okay, we are very happy to hear this. It gives us uh, so much satisfaction to hear this. Thank you for all this uh, appreciation and uh, being with us and joining us. And also, I have one more uh, question for you. At last. Uh, Would you like to suggest anything for your juniors who will be aiming for this exam in the upcoming years? If you are uh, serious about the exam, like if you are very serious about the college you are going to get, or if you are serious about the exam, just be consistent. Start as early as possible. Uh, so, uh, and the another one thing that I missed is so many of the people I have seen. Uh, 
like knowing after knowing the plant based labels they usually uh, quit the subjects because uh, even though they are passionate about the subject after knowing the syllabus uh, they find it very difficult and they'll pick the subject and shift it to other uh, yeah. department so i would suggest every subject has its own pros and cons so the advantage of uh, plant science is even the syllabus is very wide the uh, in the question if we look into the question paper the questions will be asked in a very surface level so at almost 70 to 80 percent of the syllabus questions will be uh, easy only 20 percent will be at a difficult level so don't look into the syllabus competition or anything if you have if you are passionate about the subject just go for it that's how that's what i would like to suggest okay uh, thank you Varshita. thank you for joining us and sharing all your preparation strategy with us I believe that this video will be very much helpful for all the all your juniors who are aiming for this exam. Thank you so much and I wish you all the best for all your future studies and be connected with us. We will always be there to help our students. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for giving this Thank opportunity. Thank you for sharing. Very, very privileged yeah. to be here today. Thank you so much. That's it. Uh, I'll just, uh, before ending the session, I have a bit of information for all the upcoming students. That is, uh, we are conducting a classes, online classes for ICAR PG exam in the six different subjects. That is a plant science, horticulture, soil science, and agronomy, and then social science. So if you are interested in joining us, you can join us. Uh, and the course features are, we have a live plus recorded classes along with the previous year question paper discussion and the mock test bundle, which are up to the mark of the exam. And also one-to-one -one mentorship and daily doubt clearing session. So if you want to crack this exam with the top rank, just like Varshita, you guys can join us and be with us for the next topper stock. Thank you.